what's up and welcome back to my channel um, if you are new here my name is Jamie and thank you so much for stopping by um, this video is gonna be really hard for me to do um, I've probably avoided it about four times already because um, every time I try to do it, it just makes me cry so most of you uh, probably know that um, Kane had a cyst in his neck that uh, we scheduled on May 13th to get taken out. Um, somehow he had scratched it um, and he also had a um, tooth that was also infected that needed to be taken out. So we had scheduled that to be taken out too um, at the same time as the surgery. Surgery, as I was told, went well. Everything was great. Um, he was doing great, uh, so I didn't have to worry. She said that, of course, if anything changed or if we found something was was wrong with him, to of course call and let her know. Um, but for the next couple of days, he'd probably be a little out of it, which is normal because, I mean, he just had surgery. Donut thing or whatever it is um, that you put on. And a uh, week went by. He, he wasn't fully eating, but he wasn't not eating. Um, he just wasn't himself. He just didn't feel good. Um, he bit me. <laughs> like, he, he very seldom bites, um, especially when it comes down to food. And he just, he didn't want me to touch him. And I, of course, being mama, wanted to show him my love. Um, and he bit me, but he didn't mean to. I mean, at the time, I knew he wasn't feeling well, but I didn't, I didn't know how severe. Um, so about a week and a half ago, uh, we noticed that Connie had lost a lot more weight because he really wasn't eating at this time, um, and he also wasn't pooping. Um, so he'd go from like one area of the house to another area, and then he'd just chill. He wouldn't move. You, you had to get him to to get the harness on him and then have to lift him up for him to actually move because he, supposedly he just didn't have the strength. Uh, we assumed that it was because of the medication, which they said that the medication that they were going to give him would probably affect him in some way, so we didn't think anything of it. My husband was like, maybe he's just depressed uh, because he just, he didn't, again, seem like himself. So we took off the donut. Um, we gave him some time. We walked around with him. Um, I tried to walk with him down the street because he normally likes to go for a walk, like the man loves to go for a walk. Um, and he just still wasn't himself. Well, last Thursday, uh, I had called Banfield in Colonial Heights to figure out if someone could at least just check on him to see if he was okay because, you know, he wasn't eating, he wasn't drinking, and he wasn't going to the bathroom. Um, the doctor had called me and she said that she was unsure on what was going on and why he wasn't eating and drinking. Um, she did say that she hooked him up to an EKG and saw that his heart rate was irregular. Um, so she was a little concerned on that, but still said that she didn't know what was going on. Um, I told her that when I went with the walk with him, his hips just seemed like they were giving out. Like he just couldn't walk. And then he couldn't get his paws off the ground. Like literally he almost stumbled on one of his paws just trying to enough strength to get it up um so she said that she was going to do x-rays um she didn't want to tell me anything yet she really honestly wasn't sure what was going on she did tell me though that when they did the surgery uh supposedly by law they're required to take an inch and a half of skin off from a cyst um but supposedly because of the where the cyst was they were only allowed to do an inch because there was a bone here um so she said, you know, we at least have to have some skin there between the skin and the bone of the neck. And I, I got it. Um, but she's like, but honestly, I've never had that be a problem. At work, um, Thursday of last week, and I get a call from the doctor. And I knew something was wrong because her demeanor and her tone in the phone call was very different. Um, she told me that she had x-rays done for Kane. And um, Kane had... baby cysts throughout his entire 
lungs. They were everywhere. Um, his heart had a little baby tumor attached to it. Blood all over his heart that was causing him to have irregular heartbeat. And then in his abdomen, he had a really big tumor. She said that it had spread so bad that they they didn't even know where it came from. Um, and that honestly, there wasn't really anything that they could do. Sorry guys. Um, so I leave work, I go and get him. And they're telling me all this and she shows me his x-rays and you can see the little baby tumors throughout it. She said that I she could give me a person for a cardiologist or I think it that's what she said and um, I could schedule something but normally they're like 200 to 230 dollars just for a consultation and the fact that Kane's cancer was so rapid that the chances of them being able to save him are slim to none because because it was so rapid so either he wasn't gonna make it he was either gonna die on the table or and they would say that he wasn't gonna make it um then she tells me that he technically only has a few days up to a week and she said that she could give him steroids to help with the pain because she could tell that he was in a lot of pain. That was Thursday. Friday, get home. He's all right. He's, you know, he's he's wanting to walk, so I walked him a little. Um, she said no more long walks, but you know, if if he wanted to go for like a little walk or wanted to sniff something, just let him do that. But nothing else. Um. Saturday, this past Saturday, last week, was actually pretty good. Um, we went for a little walk, not not too much of a walk, but like just a walk from like the driveway to the next house and back. Um, did great. He had food. He was drinking. He was, he was playing. He was up. He was active. And uh, that night, 11.15. Last Saturday, Kane got up, he moved maybe five feet, laid back down, and died. I was the one who found him. So, um, I'm just kind of letting you guys know what's going on. We were going to bury him in the, um, the backyard, but we decided that if we wanted to have Kane with us instead of just being here. I called Banfield and Banfield does cremations. If any of you guys ever have to deal with this, um, they'll do a cremation for you. It's uh, $200. They'll cremate, they'll put his ashes in a nice little box um, with his information on it. I'm still technically waiting on it to come back. Uh, they said a week to it, to two weeks. So I'm just really sad because I thought I had more time. He's, he didn't even make it to his uh 10th birthday so um I, I mean I knew he was getting older but I I thought I had maybe another two to three years with him I'm gonna give you guys an update on what's going on and why I haven't really been posting um but once I get his box I'll show it to you guys but I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate all your love and support because I've gotten a ton of you guys calling me, texting, showing up to uh, say sorry. And I appreciate it very much. So I don't leave this video on a sad Debbie Downer moment. I'm going to put in some pictures of, of Kane just so you guys can see how much love, how much he was loved and uh, how much... I will truly, truly miss him. So, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you.